Hi guys. Well, we have finally arrived at part four, the last part of this endless rant, which is the culmination of six months of ranting on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, the culmination of three years of my journey of awakening, probably the culmination of a lifetime of, of what I've known all along to be the truth of the matter. And the truth of the matter of how to save the planet is this, the number one, the only way to save the human race and probably every other species that we share this planet with, read my lips, is to reduce the population of planet Earth below 1 billion people, people, preferably below 500 million people. Again, the number one agenda item facing the human race today, it's November 2010, I'm bringing this to you, is to reduce the population of this planet by at least 90% or more people. And before I get too far into it, I, you know, before you morons, you New World Order moron, the, the conspiracy theorist nuts talking about this depopulation thing, accuse me of being part of the New World Order. Let, let me make, make clear, just to, 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 since you little morons only attend the ship for about 30 seconds before I get into this, uh, my recommendation for doing this is a planet-wide leave no breeder behind program of sterilization, sterilization, where we stop breeding until our numbers are down below 1 billion, preferably 500 million. Okay? I am not promoting, and neither is uh, Oprah Winfrey. Uh, Bill Gates, as far as I know, David Rockefeller, I don't know anyone. Send me the link to, to a single YouTube from anyone promoting the death, killing, euthanizing, culling, whatever word you want to use, uh, six and a half billion people. Come on, folks. You know, there might be some little neo-Hitler somewhere on this planet with some perverted dream of murdering six and a half million billion people and poisoning us all or depopulating us, but it ain't me. And, it, and it's not the environmentalist and the uh, ecologist and the scientist who study this who are suggesting this. We are suggesting a planet-wide, across-the-board sterilization campaign to get our numbers down to sustainable levels where they held for the first 200,000 years of our existence to roll the clock back uh, all of 200 years and to recalibrate our numbers and our relationship with this planet. If you're such a fucking moron, you do not understand the difference between killing somebody and, and sterilizing them. You're obviously, I, I, I'm surprised you figured out the on button on your computer. I have got nothing to say to you, you fucking morons. Go back to your Alex Jones channel and, and listen to his, his fucking screechings. Got no more time for you. Uh, 
if you want to listen to what I have to say, you're welcome to stick around. If you're one of those morons, goodbye. Uh, so where do I start the, this, the, this rant? Well, I've already started with my first three parts leading into it. But now that I'm in the fourth part and I've stated my thesis that on a cellular level, I believe and I believe more strongly today than I did when I started on this journey three years ago of this conclusion that we need to reduce the population of this planet uh, by about 90%. Uh, uh, let, let's roll this back. Let's go back what I call 200,000 years. Whether you want to call it 200,000 years, 100,000 years, I don't care. Whenever we became humans, homo sapiens, and, and intelligent beings on this planet, however we got here, I call it 200,000 years ago. Use whatever number you want to. The important thing is up until about 200 years ago, up until about the year 1800, there were less than one billion of us on this planet. We kept our numbers less than a billion, probably less than a half a billion. And we did this. Uh, our mother, this planet, kept our numbers in check by her, her, the way she keeps numbers of any animal on this planet in check. And we were, we were one more animal that, that living a sustainable lifestyle. We had our ups and downs. We had a few squabbles among our own selves. We, we took a few of the big guys out with us. But for all intents and purposes, for the first 100,000, 200,000 years of our existence, we lived lives of, of plenty of peace, prosperity, and abundance, and most importantly, we lived in balance with our mother, with Gaia. Uh, we were not the out-of-control cancer that, that we have become on this planet. And, and the reason we, we weren't the cancer causers simply weren't enough of us. Okay? because uh, the, the numbers were kept in balance by natural processes. Uh, it's probably no, not so much that we were trying to keep our numbers down, it's that we were just simply unable to take our numbers up to an unsustainable level. But all of that changed about 200 years ago. It began to change probably however many thousands of years ago. First fire was invented and then that was the first mistake. Agriculture was the second mistake. As much as I love organic agriculture and a nice fire, those are the two big mistakes. But the really big one began, you know, when we got into this industrial revolution shit a few hundred years ago and then it, and then when we discovered fossil fuels, I've already ranted about this in part two of this, is, is when we, we, we completely got off track, completely got off track about the year 1800 when it is believed, uh, and I have no reason to really question this, that our numbers for the first time in human history surpassed one billion people and that is when the trouble began. The trouble from 1800 to 1950 uh, was, was chugging along at a, at a rapid rate and starting in about 1950 when our po population of this planet was, I don't know, maybe three billion, I'm just guessing here, but less than half of what it is now. The shit really hit the fan. And the shit has been, in the, the, the feces has been flying in, in overdrive for the past 50 or 60 years on this planet. Just because it may not have hit you directly in the face or maybe that your head is stuck up your own ass so far, you have just not been hit by anyone else's shit flying in your face because you have so much of your own stupid little shit to deal with in your teeny tiny little drama ridden life. Uh, it's flying. And it, and it has been flying. And it will continue to fly the more our numbers, our, the more our numbers continue to rise. And uh, along the 